Dear students, welcome to my channel, Dr. V. R. Pudli, Professor of Management and Economics. In this video, I am dealing with meaning of cost of capital, calculation of overall cost of capital, and calculation of specific costs of capital, including cost of equity capital, cost of debt capital, cost of preference capital, and cost of retained earnings. Meaning of cost of capital. According to Van Horn, the cost of capital is the minimum required rate of return on earnings or the cutoff rate of capital expenditure. The cost of capital is also known as cutoff rate, target rate, hurdle rate, minimum required rate of return and standard return. The cost of capital K is used to calculate the present value of cash inflows which is crucial in finding net present value and measuring wealth and is also used to compare with IRR which is known as R to know whether a firm is a growth firm or not. Let us now deal with calculation of weighted average cost of capital or cost of capital. Cost of capital can be computed in two steps. One, computation of overall cost of capital. Two, computation of specific cost. Let us deal with Computation of overall cost of capital. We can find overall cost of capital by using the equation KO is equal to WE KE plus WPKP plus WDKD plus WRKR, where KO is equal to overall cost of capital or weighted average cost of capital or cost of capital. WE is equal to weight of equity capital or percentage of equity capital to total capital. KE is equal to cost of equity capital. WP is equal to weight of preference capital, KP is equal to cost of preference capital, WD is equal to weight of debt capital, KD is equal to cost of debt capital, WR is equal to weight of retained earnings, KR is equal to cost of retained earnings. Let us now deal with second step that is computation of specific costs. One, cost of equity capital. Cost of equity capital can be calculated by using two models. They are dividend valuation model and two CAPM model. According to dividend valuation model, KE is equal to D1 by P0 plus G, where KE is cost of equity capital, D1 is expected dividend per share, P0 is current market price of the share, G is equal to growth rate in dividends. According to capital asset pricing model, shortly known as CAPM model, KE is equal to RF plus 
beta into rm minus rf where ke is cost of equity capital rf is the rate of return on risk free asset or investment beta is beta coefficient rm is rate of return on market portfolio of assets two cost of debt capital debt is of two types namely perpetual debt and redeemable debt cost of perpetual debt kd is equal to i by sv into 1 minus t where kd is cost of debt capital i is is equal to annual interest payment sv is equal to sale proceeds of bond or debenture or debt t is tax rate cost of redeemable debt can be calculated by using the equation ci not is equal to summation t is taking 1 to n coi t by 1 plus kd whole power t plus copn by 1 plus kd whole power n where kd is equal to cost of debt capital ci not is equal to net cash proceeds from issue of bonds or debentures or debt coit is equal to cash outflow of interest payments in year t copn is equal to principal repayment amount in year of maturity t is equal to time period n is equal to life period of the bond cost of preference capital preference capital is of two types namely perpetual preference capital and redeemable preference capital cost of perpetual preference capital can be calculated by using the equation kp is equal to dp into 1 plus dt by p not into 1 minus f where kp is cost of preference capital p not is equal to sale price of preference shares dt is equal to tax on preference dividend f is equal to flotation cost as percentage of sale price cost of redeemable preference capital can be calculated by using the equation p not into 1 minus f is equal to summation of t is taking 1 to n dpt by 1 plus kp whole power t plus pn by 1 plus kp whole power n where kp is cost of preference capital p not is sale price of preference share dpt is dividend paid on preference share in time t pn is repayment of preference capital amount in maturity period t is time period n is life period of the preference capital four cost of retained earnings cost of retained earnings represents an opportunity cost in terms of return on their investment in another enterprise kr is likely to be equal to ke dear students in this video we learn about meaning of cost of capital calculation of overall cost of capital and calculation of specific cost thank you